Inch Bike Life with the Facts of Life podcast, episode two. In this episode, we're going to talk about branding yourself and why it's so important and what it really means to brand yourself. But before we get into this video, I want everybody to take a second to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave some comments, you know, as you're watching, any questions you got, any, you know, thing you would, would, would like me to elaborate on more. So we really appreciate if you can do that. Like I said, this episode is about branding yourself and uh, what it really means to me to brand yourself is really your whole image, how you carry yourself, just everything you do is branding yourself. You don't necessarily, to me, have to, you know, like, like I do own a clothing brand or have a business to really brand yourself. To me, you know, every rider is just how you carry yourself throughout your life, how people look at you and they see you. That's all, you know, everybody is a brand in themselves. It's just how you decide to push it and use it. You know, you can start your brand and make it something that doesn't evolve around you and can revolve around the work you do, stuff like that. Me personally, I decided to brand myself. And that's what we're mainly going to get into on this episode is branding yourself and a little bit of how I did it, the reasons why I did it. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, so with me, how I branded myself, basically, when I decided, you know, I started riding bikes. Everybody knows that. So I got into riding the bikes. And where it comes into me branding myself as Hood Rich Bike Life is what I'm going to get into first. And uh, that all really started, you know, I was riding bikes. You know, I was in and out of jail. It always kind of goes back to that because that's where it started. So I was in and out of jail, you know, from juvenile placements to I turned an adult, you know, carrying over in the system, being on probation, stuff like that. So but I came home the last time from jail. You know, I wanted to do something better. I always wanted to reach out, you know, help the kids, try to show them to not do the things I did and end up going through the things I did. You know, always, I never wanted to be a bad role model for kids, even if, <clears throat> excuse me, if I was doing something wrong. I never wanted people to do that. I always wanted everybody around me to do good. And, uh, so yeah, I started my brand. Basically, I started riding the bikes. I got into that. I seen the kids doing it. And uh, for me, I looked at it, you know, through the bike was my way to reach out to the kids and, you know, try to stop them from doing the things I did. Because, you know, when you're younger, you want to, you know, run around, you know, might start experimenting, smoking weed or drinking, just doing dumb stuff that you know, if I try to teach the kids, if you get focused on branding yourself while all the other kids are doing that, you know, then you'll be established a lot more in the future. So, you know, for me, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to be a counselor when I was younger, stuff like that. You know, I was going through the juvenile placements and, you know, I had some real cool counselors, people who talked with me through stuff like that and helped me out. And I knew I had a lot to offer to people and then, you know, I got into the bikes and, you know, I seen uh, with the youth being so involved, I looked at it that this was kind of my outlet to do that. So I pushed it more and more, just riding, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, I kind of always wanted to start a clothing brand, you know, growing up, I wanted to have a clothing store, stuff like that. Like I was always into fashion, clothing, uh, art, stuff like that. So basically I started, I decided I was gonna start the clothing brand and uh, I was gonna do that to you know, help get kids on bikes. And I knew it would help me build my platform to be able to you know, reach out to more kids and actually have them listen to me because they see me doing something successful related to what they're doing and they know, you know what I came from in my past. They know that I'm a guy who, that's been through things. And you know, when I'm telling them don't do something dumb, they know that you know, I probably faced consequences for that before. So made it a little easier to connect with them. So I started the clothing brand, trying to give back, stuff like that. And uh, I mean, that's what I really wanted out of it. To me, I, I feel like you gotta really figure out what you wanna do and not only why, and really why you wanna do that and what your main goal is to do that to really long-term be successful in my opinion. So, uh, 
you know, like I said, I started the brand, you know, just to kind of give back to the kids. And, you know, obviously I wanted to make money to, you know, get a bigger reach and stuff like that. And, you know, obviously I started, you know, I got sponsored by SE, which, you know, blew me up a little bigger, got me the promotion I need, which is a big part about branding yourself. But, uh, I mean, all that really starts with me. I feel like my whole brain revolves around me as a person, the things I've been through in the past that most people would look at, oh, he's a bad person because of that. But when everybody sees me climbing out of that and, you know, being that person to give motivation to people that see that no matter what situation you're in, if you decide to make the best out of it and, you know, believe in yourself and invest in yourself, that you can actually do something and be successful and people to get your support. But for me, the main thing about, uh, excuse me, was branding myself, was building my image first and foremost, because I knew, you know, coming from, like I said, you know, having a, a rougher past and, you know, now trying to deal with basically a younger man's sport where a lot of kids are in it to have their parents actually support what I'm doing. I knew I had to change me first first and foremost, and uh, I had to rebrand myself. I look at a lot of people, like I tell the kids, like you need to brand yourself like a rapper would. You know, you have, you could take your favorite rapper, artist, anything like that, and they are a brand, you know what I mean? Uh, so I decided to run with that. You know, I'm gonna build myself up, make myself the best person I'd be. So when it came time to actually do something like the podcast, or, you know, just any motivational videos, motivational speeches that the people would listen because they knew I came, you know, from being messed up, making wrong choices to making the wrong choices and getting better results. And, you know, so for me, the biggest thing about branding yourself is your self image. Whoever is the face of that company, you got to know that whatever they're doing at any time really can affect the whole brand. Just one simple mistake can just kill your whole brand. You can do one thing that, you know, the public in general doesn't agree with, and then everybody turns their back on you. And, you know, so for me, my with my brand, I just try to be as real as I can. And, uh, you know, just give it to people straightforward how it is. I don't try to sugarcoat things. I might come across a certain way, but once people really take a chance to get to listen to me and you know, understand where I'm coming from and know that, you know, everything I'm trying to do is for the greater good. I feel like, uh, you know, it really helps out and it helps me build my brand and, you know, push it to, because for me, my brand, I don't look at my brand as my clothing. I look at my brand as hood rich bike life as a ride or hood rich bike life as uh, you know, the clothing brand, definitely, because that's how I get my support. And, uh, you know, like the ride or, you know, community person, somebody trying to give back. So my whole brand is based around my image personally. And, uh, you know, the people that I, I try to keep close to me, I, I try to make sure they're all on the right track and all that. I try to make sure I surround myself, you know, with the right people. And, uh, Excuse me, so I'm trying to read some of these questions people ask me so I can try to stay on topic. But yeah, I try to basically surround myself with great people and uh, people that are pushing themselves and really want the same things I want out of life. And which is, you know, to reach more people, help kids, help them know that, you know, even though if you're going through it, not really just kids, anybody, but the kids is, you know, the next generation, which is going to change the future. But, you know, everything anybody does is changing the future. So, you know, I just try to motivate people, show them that, you know, you can do anything you want and, uh, you know, just push to better yourself every day to not compete with people. Uh, like like the hood rich brand that all comes from you know me personally trying to make everybody around me come up like I don't want to be the only guy in the room with a spotlight on him and oh he's the best I want everybody I walk in the room you know I want to be surrounded by bosses I don't want to be the only one and you know thinking I'm better than people like all my fan supporters they're the ones who make me who I am and you know I try to stay humble never forget that and you know, just be thoughtful that everybody's watching me 
stuff like that. And that's the main thing, you know, I base my brand about. Uh, somebody did ask one question. It was like, uh, like, does it cost money to start a brand? You know, how much does it cost? And, uh, you know, there's two answers to that, yes and no. I mean, to really start yourself as a brand, it's always going to cost money to make, to generate money off of it. But, you know, to start yourself as a brand can be, you know, just how you're going through school, just everything you do, it all starts there. If you want to build yourself personally as a brand, it's just how you carry yourself, just every, all your actions can turn you into a brand. But a brand that actually makes money, I mean, yes, you definitely have to invest, especially if you want to sell goods or just do, you know, provide a type of service, you're going to need equipment, stuff like that. So, I mean, me personally, people, I know a lot of people wanted to know, like, how much money did I start my brand with? Like, me personally, I started my clothing brand with, uh, I think it was 160 or $180. It was less than $200, more than 150 I started with, uh, you know, I started, once I came up with the name to actually start my clothing brand, I had my sister do my logo for me, so I didn't have to pay for that. I just told her exactly how I wanted it and you know, through text message and she created it for me that, you know, I paid about 180, got some shirts made and then, you know, just did a couple of runs like that. Then I invested, you know, uh, a few thousand into the actual equipment to be able to make my own clothing so I could do other people's stuff and venture out. But I mean, you can start any type of brand with, you know, as little as anything all you have to do is you know do a service for somebody make the money off that and you just keep investing everything you make into your brand that's the big key with me with building my clothing brand was to keep trying to invest everything if somebody you know wants one shirt you know the price they pay for that i try to put that back to you know, get more to build my stock up, stuff like that. And then, you know, now I pay for the website, stuff like that. So, you know, as you grow, it gets bigger. You know, I, I turned it into an LLC. That just cost me a few hundred dollars to actually turn it to a legit business, which, you know, I highly rec recommend that, you know, if you're doing it, and once you know that you got something to, you know, get it legit, trademark, copyright, all that stuff, you know, own your brand. And, you know, just put everything you can in it, uh, like ways to promote your brand, yourself, your brand is literally everywhere you go. Like me, that's why I like me being a self person as a brand, you know, being the face of the brand, I, I promote everywhere I go, everywhere I go, I'm promoting whether, I, you know, I, I wear the merch. So that's, you know, one type of promotion, but, you know, speaking, engaging with people is for me is the best uh you know whether you do it online anything like that you know the biggest tools we have at our hands is a cell phone i mean there's like 7.8 billion people on the planet and uh as i think i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure there's about 30 30 30 million no 30 million, 300 million active Instagram users monthly. I have to recheck them facts, sorry. But I mean, there's so many people you can connect with on these internet, you know, from all around the world, stuff like that. So building a brand nowadays is so much easier. Your biggest tool is gonna be your cell phone uh, for a fact. I mean, I literally have two of them just because like I don't ever wanna, you know, be in the position where I can't have my phone and when I needed to be able to record a video or, you know, be able to call some, j just anything. The phone is the most powerful tool you'll have with your business branding yourself. It could be a gift and a curse. You know, if you're doing things that you don't want see seen, you got to know that there's cameras everywhere, stuff like that. So if you're doing things that you don't want seen, you probably shouldn't be doing them. And that's how, that's one way I brand myself, unless you're you know, branding yourself to be a gangster rapper or something like that, then best of luck to you. I, you know, I tried that. I went that way and it didn't turn out good for me. And, you know, now I'm doing stuff like this. So, but you know, any way you want to do it, uh, 
you know, your logo is one of the most important things when it comes to branding, though. Your image and your logo, to me, are the two most important things. I mean, for me, my logos is my logo is bold. You always know exactly what it says from however far back you could tell it says Hood Rich Bike Life. That's very important to me. Uh, like, you know, right now at my stage of branding at this point, I'm still trying to, you know, get all the promotion I can. So I make sure I got bold letters where you can just look and instantly notice. Like, I don't even have to see a clear shot of my clothing. I see it. You know, in a video of a kid passing by, I know what it is. That's very important. You know, you want something it's just like a like a rap song to it. You know, that catchy song you hate, but you sing it anyway. It's because it's so simple and you see it once or you hear it once and you instantly, it's stuck in your head. You know it. So, you know, you got to come up with something catchy and you're, you know, catchy and bold is where I go. And then... You know, that's to get people to like it and to see what you're about. And then, you know, it's really what you're about, you know, your mission statement, what y'all stand for, all that. For me, it's, you know, bringing up the community around me, making everybody around me rich, not so much money. You know, the things we do just make us, you know, make me rich. I don't, you know, not everybody. Obviously, we need money to support ourselves, this, that, and you know, the more money we have, the better things we can do. I don't wanna get a bunch of money and live by myself in a great big house in the nicest neighborhood. I'd rather put on millions of people around me and make my whole hood rich. Everybody that is around me, that is, you know, part of my family, part of my neighborhood, part of my community. I wanna bring value to them. And that's all I'm about is bringing value to other places where there's value and there's not value will bring some value there. So as long as it ain't taking our value, you know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, so, you know, like the main thing with me is, you know, basically figure out <clears throat> what you like to do, figure out how you want to brand yourself, you know, what it is it you like to do and how you can make money off it. Cause if you can't in the long term make money off of it, then it's not a win. You know, you're not just going to brand yourself and make money overnight. And if you do, that's great. But, you know, great things aren't built overnight for me. I'm playing a long game. I didn't come in just saying, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to make all types of money by selling shirts to kids. Because honestly, I know that's not the way. But for me, it's all little pieces to the puzzle that I'm putting together. Every little thing I do, like this podcast from my clothing to, you know, every little thing y'all see me do is all part of the bigger picture to, you know, strengthen my whole community and everybody around me. And that's what my brand is about. So for you, you need to just really figure out what your end goal is, obviously. I mean, if your goal is just to make money, it's going to be a lot harder to win. If you have real, you know, things that you want to accomplish and you believe in what you're doing, that's where it's going to pay off more when it's not all about the money. Because when people, you know, you got to believe in what you do, you got to be able to sell it. If you don't, you know, you can have all the equipment, but if you don't believe in what you're doing, you know, people's not, you know, the, the work isn't going to come out great or just anything. It's just not going to work out for you. So try to figure out what it is that you really like, whatever your hobby is. I don't care if it's RC cars or Pokemon cards, baseball cards, you know, anything. There's plenty of ways you could start a business, you know, if you're a kid. You know, I, I literally seen kids build trailers onto their bicycles to pull their lawnmowers around and go around and cut, you know what I mean? Cut grass. I seen kids selling water on the corners, all that. And, you know, if you're if you want to do that and that's how you start, as long as you just got plans of keep building it bigger then you are branding yourself by doing that, just by being known as a hard worker. Like I literally got up at uh, two in the morning to go do snow work today. It's uh, 6.20 at night now. I did 12 hours doing snow work today. You know, come right back to it, get to the podcast. You know, I just, I'm a hard worker. Everybody knows that. And that that's the one thing everybody says about me. So when I do something 
they believe in me because they know I'm a hard worker. And, you know, when they see your persistence, that's when you'll start getting the support from people. Don't, a lot of people, man, I hear people like, oh, I have all these great ideas and this person can help me, but they don't want, they, they're not trying to hear it. And, you know, the thing with that is, what you got to understand, like, it's not their vision. It's your vision. God didn't give them this vision to see. He gave it to you to do something about it. So don't sit around and depend on other people to make the moves for you because, you know, nobody's going to come knock on your door and say, hey, come make this. Come on, we're about to go make this million dollars today. Get up off your ass and come do this. No, they're going to go find that guy that's 10 times hungrier than you that's doing everything they can to make it. So just know whatever you need to do. <clears throat> Now, whatever you want to do to, uh, you know, figure out what you want to do and you got to be the best at it. You know, Kobe Bryant, he would be in the gym every day, hours and hours before the game, not because he wasn't good. He was, he was one of the greatest. But at the end of the day, that's what made him so great, his hard work, his persistence. He didn't start out the greatest, but he worked 10 times harder than everybody. Everybody who's a great, they worked 10 times harder. They believed in their cause and they just went crazy to do everything they can to accomplish their goals when other people didn't see it. So I think that's, you know, one of the important thing about branding yourself is just having that drive, that hunger and just really knowing what you want to go after. Yeah, I mean, I got into a lot of that. I mean, uh, some people wanted to know how, uh, why did I start my brand? And uh, for me, why I started my brand, one of the big things with me starting my brand was I was uh, doing landscaping. You know, I was, it's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to landscape forever. Not that I didn't even want to landscape forever because I enjoyed it because like I mentioned earlier, I'm an artist. I like you know, taking something messed up, making it better, stuff like that. So I, I enjoyed it, but what I don't enjoy is working for the next person and knowing that I'm out here putting 100% into what I do while the next person is making all the money off it when they, you know, I'm not saying they may not care as much, but they, you know, they might not be working as hard as me or just, just knowing that, you know, I'm the type of person I know that I could do everything. Not saying I don't need anybody because we always need people, but you know, for the type of things I was doing, I just knew I could, I would be much more happy not having to answer to somebody when I want to do something. I don't have to ask permission or inconvenience the next person because I want to live my life the way I want to live my life. Uh, like I said, I did a lot of jail time. And uh, I think a big thing for me is, you know, having my freedom to be able to do, you know, what I want when I need to. Obviously, you know, there's things that come up and, you know, when that trumps whatever I really want to do, it's because that person is important to me or that situation is more important to me. So in reality, I'm still going to be able to do what I want. So uh, for me, I took the sacrifice to know, OK, I'm going to make a little bit less money right now. But in the long run, I'm going to win because I know you know, I probably moved up almost as far as I can in this company in just a few years. There's not much more to climb to the top. But if I could just start right here and keep pushing, you know, I can go as far as, you know, further than anybody ever did. So, you know, it's all how, how hard you push yourself. You know, to me, I always just, you know, I say you get what you put in. You know what I mean? If you, if you wake up and you work nonstop till you go to sleep, you got somebody else who wakes up and they work six hours, but you're working 15. I mean, who do you think is going to get the better results? They, they might be a little bit more talented, but hard work is going to win every time. Persistence, stuff like that. So uh, I think, you know, a lot of things with me was just with branding myself was just for me to really just be myself and the kind of get people to support me for being me and seeing me being able to show them my goals and my visions and get other people behind me to support that to the point where, 
you know, I'll be able to take care of my family and, you know, start doing stuff for more people and just keep building everything that the Hood Rich Bike Life brand is about. And I think for me, that's the biggest thing is just getting the support from people and being able to be myself. So for me, building my brand, it was probably mostly about the freedom, way much more than the money, obviously, because I probably could be working a steady job and, you know, not have to worry about so many things, but I like to every day be on the hustle, keep trying new things, keep pushing myself, keep trying to figure out new ways to market myself. And I can show other people along the way how I did it, help them get out of their situations and stop just sitting back, waiting for things to happen. Like with this podcast, for instance, like I'm literally shooting this on an iPhone 12 on my cell phone and uh, on a little tripod. So, you know, obviously when I get, you know, as this grows, I'm going to get, you know, the better equipment, stuff like that. But I like to show people that, you know, you can get it from nothing. Don't worry about your situation you're in. I'm literally sitting here interviewing myself off an of iPhone, you know, 12, which, you know, it's a good quality phone, but I don't have fancy cameras. I don't have headphones and microphone. I have AirPods and an iPhone. And that's where this podcast is coming from. And you know, y'all that are here watching these from the beginning, y'all are going to watch this grow into some so amazing whole podcast studio, you know, out of my living room with stuff like that. But, you know, as we keep going, it's just going to keep going up. You know, my brand is about motivating people, just giving them the drive that I got. And, uh, you know, the brand yourself, like I say, if you want to brand yourself, the best, you know, what really sums it up is just be yourself. Be yourself, do what you love, and figure out a way to make money off of it without taking from the people. And that's the way you're going to last, you know? Just figure out exactly what you want to do and take baby steps to do it. This podcast, everything I'm doing is plans for the future to, you know, I'm just along for the ride. I, you, you might not even know exactly where you're going or what you're doing at times, but just know if it's bringing benefit, you need to do it. Like this podcast, I'm still, I might be jumping around. I really don't know exactly where I'm going with it. Uh, stuff like that. You know, obviously my equipment isn't the greatest, but I decided to just do it. What I do want, what I do know is I just want to give the videos. I really don't want to get into editing my videos and taking out stuff I say, because I just want to give you know, the knowledge to you guys as it comes out without, you know, doing little things to try to make it seem better than it was or taking out parts because I'm human just like you guys. I'm going to make mistakes. Everything I do is not going to be perfect. And I want y'all to realize that about yourselves and just know if you push yourself, you can, you know, literally turn yourself into the biggest thing out there. You can start any business you want and just really put your heart and your soul into it and do everything you can and believe in it. And if you believe in it first and invest in yourself, other people will, you know, be there to support you and help you along the way. Uh, <clears throat> I hear a lot of people, you know, always make excuses as to, you know, oh, I can't do this because of that. Oh, I can't start my own bill. I don't have a car. This, that. I mean, listen, there's always a way. There's always... You know, everybody, if I used all the excuses and all the bad things that happened to me, you know, I'd be nowhere. So, but I just try to look at everything positive and, uh, you know, no matter where you came from, you can rebrand yourself. I came from, you know, the guy that was in and out of jail and stuff like that to now the, you know, a top SE bikes rider. And, you know, I have my own podcast, my clothing brand. I literally work for myself and I'm paying my bills and taking care of my children and, you know, being able to spend time with them and I'm doing what I want. I'm traveling across the country, which, you know, and uh, when this next episode drops, not this one, when the one after this drops, I will be out. California will be airing, a, uh, you know, we're going to be shooting one out there that'll drop the following week. So, like, you know, doing what I did and being myself and branding myself to be a guy named Hood Rich who's going to show you the struggle he came from and, you know, just do what I want without caring what anybody thinks and 
just branding myself like that has literally changed my whole life. It's taken me all around the world. I'm meeting so many great people. So, I mean, whatever your dreams are, no matter what anybody thinks, don't just do it. Just put it to the test. Like if you never, like you never know, you're gonna miss every shot you don't take. If you don't take the chance to do what you think can better you or be something great for you, you're never gonna know. Like literally they said the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is right now. So what I take from that is, <clears throat> you know, like it would have been, if I would have started my Hood Ridge Bike Life brand 10 years ago, you know, I could probably be so much farther, but I didn't, but I started it when I did. And that was the perfect time. Like, I wanted to, I kept thinking, oh, I want to start a podcast, start a podcast. I said, you know what? The new year is coming. I'm dropping. I don't care if I have any equipment. I'm getting it done because I have no idea who's going to see this, who it can help, where it's going to take me. I honestly don't know, but I just know that this needed to be done. And I just took that and ran with it. So whatever your dreams are, <clears throat> just, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Whatever your dreams are, just go for it and don't let anybody discourage you. There's going to be so many people that, like I said earlier, they're not going to see your vision. And people are dream killers. You're going to tell them and they're going to tell you every reason it's not going to work rather than support you. So, you know, I mean, you could take people's criticism for what it is. If they want to tell you, oh, this isn't going to work. You know, I always like to listen, but I don't always listen to them. So, but I always like to take, you know, all the advice I can, but I also have the freedom by doing things my way. And that's why I do what I do. So, but uh, yeah, man, it, it's been great. It's been a great journey, you know, starting my brand, being able to brand myself into Hoodridge Bike Life and uh, just retransform myself into, you know, somebody who people know me from, like I literally just got a message from, you know, a childhood friend earlier, and she was just telling me, like, like it's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm really proud of you, how far you came, and stuff like that. And, like, when them people tell me it, like, it means the most because they really, you know, know what I went through and probably had their own opinions of where I would end up. And then, you know, I started showing people, you know, other negative things. And then so to climb out of that and become something so great and to motivate everybody around me to just means the world, I, you know, I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep pushing. And, you know, hopefully I can, something I said in here motivates you to start your brand and just know that, you know, you're one step, you're one decision away from changing your whole life. And the, like, if it's not where, if you try something and it's not working out, then give up. But it's better than sitting there wondering if you never tried. And, uh, I know for me, you know, I, had, I was trying to start a landscaping business, unfortunate situation happened with my truck somebody totaled my truck and damaged it and uh you know from there i'm like oh this is you know it was horrible it was the worst thing in the world at the time just start my trying to start my business and basically gave up on it and probably a few months later about maybe a year later tops hoodridge bike life was born and you know it's been the biggest thing that happened is leading me all types of different places so just know that things happen for a reason but you know we have will and if you don't try you're never gonna know so i just hope you know everybody that watched this maybe took something from here and can you know maybe pass something on to somebody else and just know that you know whatever you want do just no matter how crazy it thinks know that like i said there's 7.8 billion people on this planet there's gonna be a lot of people that like what you like stuff like that don't be afraid to make that video to promote yourself use the internet all these tools instagram youtube all of them use everything you can to communicate with people and reach out because there's so many people like you, even if there's people out there that's gonna give you the negative, the hateful comments and all that, just know that they're in a bad place in their life if they got time to come out their way to comment on why you're so wrong for doing what you do or maybe the way you look, anything like that. Don't, don't pay attention to none of the comments, none of the negative. They're just hateful people and 
they got something wrong with them, so just keep being positive. Whatever it is you want to do, whether it's make that video, start that clothing company, whatever you want to do, just try. Because unless you try, you're never going to know. Unless you give it your all. If you try and give it your all and it doesn't work out, you have no regrets. But if you don't try, or if you go in and you don't give it your all, and you don't get the results you're looking for, you only have you to blame. So... And I hope everybody, you know, likes this video. Put some comments down there. Tell me what y'all like about this. Tell me, you know, any things y'all would like to see change with this. This is only episode two, so we still try and get the feel of it. We're definitely going to be bringing some people on to the show. When I say I'm going to be out Cali, you know, as long, you know, I hope everything goes as planned. I have my tickets booked, everything. But, you know, the world is crazy. Anything can happen. But, you know, with God's will... I'll be out California in two weeks. We'll be shooting an episode with, you know, all of the SE crew riders that are there. You know, got to do one with my team, all the people around me that is all doing positive things. So stay positive, man. Know every move you make is really, it could, it could hurt your brain or it could really grow it. You know, think before you act. And uh, like I said, man, you're going to miss every shot you don't take. So if you got something you want to do, today is the day to get it started. I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care why this didn't work. If you got something that you think is going to work and you want to do, figure out what you got to do to get it done and make it happen. Man, make sure y'all stay subscribed. Tune in every week, Saturday, 3 p.m. 3, yeah, 3 p.m. We're going to drop these episodes and share these with your friends. Let's get this out there, man. I'm trying to make this, you know, keep getting more reach, bringing more people on and keep giving more value and hopefully motivating people. And uh, man, with that, I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me. Go check out hoodrichbikelife.com. Show support. You know, we got crazy new merch. If, uh, if you don't see something on there and you want it, man, feel free to DM me on the Instagram, on my social medias. And uh, yeah, man, I love y'all. Thank you for the support. It means the world to me, you guys. Man, without y'all, there is no Hoodrich Bike Life, and I'm going to keep, you know, I'm never going to forget about the people that's bringing me up. I just want to keep bringing value to, you know, everybody's community. Hopefully this year I make it out to where you guys are and get to come ride with you or, you know, do some things out where you live. So, man, with that, thank you guys. Please subscribe, like, comment. Thank you for tuning in. If you watched it this far, man, yo, you have no idea how much that means to me. And just, man, stay tuned in, man. And just know these won't get a little better. If they a little slow, just know that, you know, everything will get better in time and apply that to your life and everything's going to be great, man. Thanks. Peace.